Hey, what's up? On this week's episode, I'm going to show you how I made these uh, stainless steel katanas for my 2003 newly custom Leonardo action figure. So these are the materials I have pretty much. It's just a little piece of doweling. I marked off some lines where I'm going to cut. That's an old saw I made uh, many years ago, but I got this new saw and I haven't used it yet. So it's a good chance to try it out if I can get it out of the packaging. So I try to create some leverage, but the paintbrush was too flimsy and then a similar size doweling that didn't do anything. But I figured it out. I had to take out that one little piece to get out the big piece. So I put that together. I tried this blade and uh, well, it didn't really work very well. This isn't working very well either. It's tough with the new saw blade, so I came up with a new plan. I just cutting the, I don't know, that piece off. And then I put it in my vise, wrapped with a thin piece of foam to keep it straight. And I cut it on the vise, and as I used the saw, it got better. You had to get worked in a little. So on the right side there, or left side, the, uh, where is it, that side? I don't know. The sword that I'm going to make. So I just marked off where I'm going to cut the blade. I made it about two times the hilt, just because that's what looked right beside him. And I already cut the hilt, so. Now I'm cutting... It's a stainless steel strap, tie, tie strap. I got it at the dollar store years ago. I don't know when, but they make good swords. And when you cut it, be careful. They get really sharp. And um, I don't know, I ended up wrapping it up. So, cause the first one flew away and I looked for it for a while and then I couldn't find it. So I made two new ones. Just adding super glue to the bottom of the blade there. That's going to go in the notch that I cut earlier using my clamp and new saw. I think I'm caught up, so I'm gluing it in gently. And when I glued it, I made it on a bit of an angle to make it look like it's curved, like a katana. I think it looks cool. And I've done these before, and I left the swords just like that and then painted the wood. But these swords, based on the first season of uh, the 2003 animated series, he has guards on his swords. So I'm just gluing those down now. I used that foam so I could get the, uh, what's it called, knife, scalpel, to go through nicely. And I didn't stab myself on that like I did the sword tip earlier. Now I'm just just a regular black acrylic. I'm just painting. Uh, the guard is going to stay black, and then the bottom of the hilt is going to be gold. So the night before, I tried making a sheath for the katanas, and it kind of worked. I was just gluing it to itself while I wrapped it around, but it, the glue kept getting stuck to the piece of metal underneath. So I came up with the idea, I'm going to use, uh, or I'm using some parchment paper. I cut to the shape of the blade and then I'm going to divert and uh, start gluing the wrap around the handle. And it's just some blue material I had from my last Ronin build. So just glued it and wrapped it around. Now I'm back onto the sheath. That's kind of what it's going to look like, but this uh, Leonardo doesn't have the sword of Tangu, so it's just two swords crossing. And so I started gluing it down and just wrapping it around. It's so much easier with the uh, parchment paper because I just glue it to the parchment paper instead of to itself, and it's so much easier to just wrap around. Uh, I double loop the end because I'm going to soon add details to that because I'm going to paint that gold. It's got like gold uh, ends. So 
I'm good, just gonna test it out. And it works, fits good. All right, that's one sword done. Now I'll move on to the next sheath, but you don't need to watch it again. Did I, uh, I already painted the gold nubs. Now I'm using, it's a uh, Nicolazzo gold. It's uh, an orangish brownish color. I just wanna lighten up the uh, sheath to match better with the different suede lace that I'm gonna use to make his belt and um, sling that the swords are on, attached to on his back. Now I'm gonna paint gold. Oh, now I'm painting the gold on the sheaths. Yeah, you can see his sheaths and swords have gold. Sheaths and swords. It's hard to say. Sheaths. Sheaths. I'm going to glue them together in the X formation. You can kind of see while he's lying down or crouched down on the floor there. And um, I had marked it out. That's why he's facing down on his back, because I measured out kind of how I was going to put them. Now I'm attaching his belt. It's just a suede lace that I got in a roll from, I don't know, craft place somewhere. And I tied the knot and then I just glued it down so the strap was hanging down. That's how it looks on him. And now I'm the sling, usually he just would throw it over his shoulder, but I'm gluing it down because it's going to be a lot easier and stay in place better that way. Now I just have to glue that to there. And uh, luckily you can do a whole bead or strip of glue because the one sword lines up with it or a sheath lines up with it. And that will hold a lot better than just a dab in the middle. So I realize now, that, or at that point, I forgot to wrap around the two sheaths with another piece of uh, lace. But um, I'm going to fix that later off camera. For now, I guess let's see how it looks. I think it's done. The sheaths work. Swords come out. We're almost there. Oh, I thought I could be cool and just slide it back in, but it didn't work so well from that angle. Now if I get him to stand up, that's what the swords look like. That's what it looks like on his back. Thanks so much for watching. Next week I'm going to show how I customized him and Donnie and Raph all there. Uh, always keep your head up. Peace. Thanks. Bye.